My recipe for eggnog ice cream is super simple, it has a great wow factor, and it's so easy that even older children can do it all by themselves. My guest today is a little bit young for that though. This is Araya Sunshine. Yes ma'am. And Araya is, how old are you? She's only four years old. But she's going to help me make eggnog ice cream, isn't that right? Yes. Now the thing you need to know about ice cream is it's not just cream and sugar. There's more to it, right? We need sugar, uh -huh. eggs, yes. milk, That's right. eggnog, ice. All of those things that we need to make ice cream, the cream, the sugar, the milk, they're already all together store-bought eggnog. Egg Eggnog, and I bought some right here. Yeah, it's in that container. That's right. Are you ready? We're going to dump this into our ice cream maker? Yes. All right. Now, every ice cream maker is different, so just follow your manufacturer's directions to get it ready. Pour it on in. Now, it's nice to add a little bit something extra to this because we don't want the store-bought eggnog to taste store-bought. And I've found that a great addition to this is a little bit of nutmeg. A quarter teaspoon, half a teaspoon is all you need. Dump it in. Nice. Good work. And then we're going to add a little bit of your favorite liqueur. Mine is amaretto. So what we're going to do, just a tablespoon is enough. Can you go ahead and dump that in? All right. Dump in the amaretto. This helps the ice crystals from forming in your eggnog. It's going to help give you a smoother, creamier texture. So that's wonderful. Next, we're going to drop in the dasher. Now this does two things. As it spins around, it agitates the mix and that not only, again, helps those nasty, chunky ice crystals from forming in your ice cream as it freezes, but it also whips air into the product. That's very important. The more air in your ice cream, the lighter and fluffier your ice cream is going to be. So that's in there. You ready to put the lid on? Yes. All right. We're going to put the lid on nice and tight. Okay, you ready to put this in the ice cream maker? Yes. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's so strong. You're tough for such a little thing. Okay. Now, you ready to put the ice in? All right, now this is the fun part, I think. We're gonna put ice into the ice cream maker, okay? That's right, can we grab it? Why don't you grab handfuls of ice? Yep, just throw them in there. Nice. Good, both sides. There you go. What do you think about this? It's fun. Is it fun? Yeah. You like making ice cream? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, now, you can go ahead and stop. After we have a couple inches of ice in the bottom of the maker, it's time to add some ice cream salt. Now this is more than just a regular table salt. This is big and chunky. So you want to take this little spoon yes. and just a little bit of salt in there, about a tablespoon. Oh, that's perfect. Now just sprinkle it in there. Can you sprinkle? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yep. Perfect. Some on each side. Now we're going to do more ice, okay? All right. Can you grab more ice? Now we're going to keep on layering ice and salt, ice and salt, ending off with salt. Perfect. Until we have the ice cream maker completely full. All right? All right. This is really fun. <laughs> you like this? Is it fun making ice cream? All right, great. Well, this is all filled up. Now the salt is so important because it actually forces the ice to melt at a lower temperature, which makes the ice cream freeze faster. So don't forget the salt. Take a look. You want to see the ice cream we made? All right, let's take a look. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Here, climb up. Let's take a look at this. Wow. You ready to see the ice cream we made? Yes, ma'am. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. There, thanks. Now, we got to put a little bit of nutmeg on top of that, don't we, right? Can okay. I do it? Absolutely, you can do it. Why don't you hold your hand out? Let's put a little bit of nutmeg on your hand. And can you just do little pinches? Just do a tiny pinch and sprinkle it on top. There you go, just like that. Here, I'll do a pinch too. All right, look at that. Now that is eggnog ice cream. Isn't that beautiful? All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us on 5-Minute Cooking. I'm Alicia Claveria with Eat Passion. And remember, in life, whatever you cook, whatever you eat, do it with passion and you'll always be satisfied. Thanks for joining us. Can you say bye to everybody? Bye. Bye. See you next time. Mwah.